Hey, hi, hello, it's so good to see you. I'm finally doing this. It's finally happening. I know I've been teasing it for like a really long time, but it's actually happening. If you have not met me before, hi, my name is Yebba Debba. Uh, you can just call me Yebba. Is this the first time I'm ever gonna be playing Mass Effect? Yes, ever. I, I know. I know, I can feel your disappointment from here. But I'm finally playing it, okay? I was, I get very intimidated by these types of games that are um, very RPG based, are definitely a skill set that I'm not uh, very good at, but I know how dialogue heavy and important and absolutely beloved this franchise is, and it has been recommended to me uh, multiple times. So I'm going to finally take people up on that. We're gonna heck and play it. I'm excited, I'm excited. I hope you're excited too, because I'm excited. Also, I can't believe this is free on Game Pass. Can I just put that out there? Also, Xbox wants me. How soon do I get to meet Garrus? That's my question. Because as somebody who has not played this, and as somebody who has seen bits and pieces from other people who played it, I still didn't follow anything that happened in the story. I have seen the memes, and I know that everybody loves Garrus. We're going with Jane Shepard, BB. Yes. Protocol instruction complete. Soul Survivor. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for herself. Oh, I know that voice. She saw a whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious point in scars. Oh. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want to be protecting the galaxy? Obviously, it's me. That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. Ooh! Ooh! I'll uh, make a call. Spicy. The year 2140, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies enabling travel to the furthest, furthest stars. The basis of this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very, every fabric, uh, the very fabric of space and time. They called the greatest discovery in human history. Ah! I couldn't read that fast. It's okay. I think I read it, but I didn't read it out loud. Hmm. Ooh, the music, though. The Arcturus Prime Relay is in range. It's me. Hi. We are connected. Dang, that's a pretty ship, though. Getting the relay in three, two, one. Oh, that's not a ship! Oh, that's a transporter. I see. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Uh. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. <laughs> Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. I don't agree. You're overreacting. I think that's fine. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports oh, back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. All right. I definitely need a debriefing because I... I heard. I'm on my way. I'll just be... Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? I mean... Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Ha-ha! 
Ah, eat shit. 50 marines? Oh, mm -hmm. when they said that there were a lot of people, they weren't lying. I can spend stuff now. Combat increased health allows limited health regeneration. Well, gonna need one of those. Because Lord knows I am gonna get hit. All right, let's get used to double joystick. Hi. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Heard you arguing? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. What do you mean? You think the Alliance brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Oh. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Ask about the Captain. A problem with the Captain? No, ma'am. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. That's a fun Don't visual. send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting-edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. Why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheap, less chance of security leaks, too. Hmm. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. A cover? For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. I got experience points just from talking with people? Not the kind of place to make a decision. Hi. Ooh. About this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from Corporal a spectre. Jenkins. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. Okay. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. I agree. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Oh, the voice acting in this is spectacular. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Okay. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a council. human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Can I try? You'd make a good specter. Oh, thanks. You're always getting dropped into impossible situations, forced to survive unbeatable odds. Just like you on a coos. Can I just gloss over that? You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. That's nice. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. But there's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. You'll do fine. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coup. Stop bringing that up! This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Don't play the hero. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. Mm -hmm. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Goodbye. Thank you. Okay, let's go. I get to talk to Nihilus now? 
Commander Shepard. I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Mm. Let's butter it up. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? What are you asking? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I, I don't know! We told the commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. That's obvious. No, I don't want to be too terribly hostile, but... Uh, I knew it sounds very conceited. Um, ah, fuck it. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Why the secrecy? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. A beacon? It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. Okay. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. Mm, blessing and a curse. Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the citadel for proper study. Mm. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. You sound worried. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. <laughs> the Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance... So I'm a guinea pig? Not many could have survived what you went through on a coos. Why does everybody keep bringing it up? To live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. You put my name forward? Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. Ah. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. No pressure. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Great. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. Mm. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Wrong hands? Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. You speak in languages I don't understand. Protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. That's not the good. The thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Low-key. Uh, Eden Prime? I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. Sounds it's good. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. Oh, boy. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. All right, let's ask one more question what about, do you know the about the Protheans. Protheans. 
They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Poof. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. All right, I think we're good. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Ah, shit. Get down! Ashley? We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't get evac. They came out of nowhere. We need. <gasps> They look friendly. Yeah. Everything cuts out after that. No contact traffic at all. Just goes dead. Super. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Ooh. Is that a, was that a quiver? Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. I'd say. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear. And but fuck the people on the planet, I guess. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Oh great, Jenkins, the wannabe hero Jenkins. Well, he's dead. Great. I've watched too much anime for that not to turn out poorly. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. Sounds good. What about survivors, Captain? Help great survivors question. Survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. You know. Violet, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Of course he does. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. I really hope I don't re re regret giving that much support. But, you know, it's fine. This place got hit. Whoa. Hostiles everywhere. Oh, God. Nothing good, Jenkins. Hmm. I got the heebies. Yo. Oh boy. Oh shit. Oh, nice shot. Oh, it's a heat, it's an overheat weapon? Oh jeez. I walked right past him, I'm terrible. No, I mean, I wanna use it on him. Who's shooting at me? Rip right through his shields, we're at a chance. Aw. Not forget about him. He deserves a burial. We can't help. Sometimes him Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Pretty shitty thing to say, but I mean, I personally know we don't have time for a burial, so you know, I didn't mean to use a health item on me. That was silly. Could I have saved him? Did I screw that up? Excuse me. Nice shot, dude. I'm about to say, can I please get out of this? Oh, that's the lady from the transmission. Okay, well, she's competent. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, that's f fucked up. Was awful. Okay. All right. Okay. You know what? Sounds like we're gonna need a bit higher. Oh. Never mind. I didn't do shit. 
Oops. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. Sorry. He the one in charge here, ma'am? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. I just saw a dude get impaled. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. Oh. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? That's a very good question. They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Ah, uh, not the best, uh, idea. What else do you know about the game? Not the best motive to I maybe get back into it. School. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Oh! You mean Once exploiting the labor wasn't a good thing? In the Perseus Vale. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Hmm. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Because they knew we were coming. Patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Have you seen a Turian specter around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a specter anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. He carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. For now. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Tell me everything you know about the beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. Let's go. Move out! Sorry, I didn't mean to like. Really? Okay, so it's it's quite automatic. X and press it again to detonate. <gasps> I get I get controlled? Oh, that was way too far. That was way too far, fam. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. Crap. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. We don't have time for survivors. We make for the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Saving content. Thank you. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. Oh, now you talk I to me. Check it out. Keep your guard up. I mean, literally impaled bodies, so <laughs> my guard won't be down. <laughs> Ooh. Oh God, they're still alive. What? No, see, I didn't want to play Dead Space. See, I already played Dead Space and I really didn't like it. I don't want to play it now. And it's not my cup of tea, man. Oh boy. You know, when they were talking about a beacon and, you know, ancient civilizations and like, Stuff happened again. I, I did have some flashbacks and I didn't like that. And um, I really don't need people coming back to life, um, you know, in this game too. I really, it's not my favorite thing in the world when it comes to like space adventures. So like maybe we could just like not be, I don't know. Humans, thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Uh, tell me what happened. How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Oh? Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. 
No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Oh, Soon, please. Only ruin and corpses will remain. Okay. I don't know. That's uh What else can you tell me about the attack? Oh, that's the positive energy I'm looking for. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Okay, sir. Of our extinction. I'm gonna leave your ass here if you don't calm down. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. So why didn't you unlock the damn door so I didn't have to use a goddamn Omni gel? Huh? Huh? Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Great. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? Death, destruction, obliteration. Okay. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. I I I need you to I need you to calm your titties. in the area. I saw him. The prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before Maybe the it's a different one. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. What's wrong with your assistant? Uh. Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Uh, we know that. Madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us. <laughs> the head shake. There is no escape, no hope. No, I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Hey, we don't need to be mean. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. Sir. The darkness of eternity. Sir. Hush, Manuel, go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Well, I like this Caden fellow. All right, troubles are brewing. Hi, Nihilus. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, so he wasn't lying. This isn't good. Uh, this is your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? Nihilus. Nihilus. The council thought you could use some help on this one. Bullshit. Bullshit. Absolute so bullshit. To find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Mm. Worry, I've got it under No! Son of a bitch! I was just starting to like him. Oh. You expend... You got rid of my shields? <gasps> Commander, it's Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't, don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. Who are you? What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. I don't care. Tell me information. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. More detail, please. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I I think Ooh. they knew each other. Shoutouts to here in the name. He seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I, I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. What about the beacon? We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Son of a bitch. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind were you taking the a nap when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get... I was joking? 
I was joking. I'm the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? I just want details. I just want details. Wait. One minute that ship was descending, the next, those geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? Give me the info. They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Yeah. It feels like a whole other life. Stuff feels like that. Tell me about this mothership you saw. Is that the weird gangly thing? Before. It, it was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And it was making this noise, this this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Let's go. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Go where? Man, I'm so bummed. I was just starting to like the guy. Woo, shit. I take it the cargo train is over here? Okay. Hello? I mean, I wanted that final kill, but like, I guess, you know, it's fine. Oh shit. I, I see him crouching, but nope, you're just gonna be a little, a little bitch about it. Was that my smartest move? No. Did it get it done? Yes, it did. Let's get the hell out of here. Set All right. the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Excuse me? I think that's overkill. A lot. A lot of okay. Hi, I'm doing a secret mission for something that is still nefariously understated, and I don't actually know what's happening, but, um, you know. I'm just gonna go ahead and blow up an entire planet? So are the Geth... Robots? Or are they... People? Or not people, but, like, bionic beings? Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down! Okay! No pressure. I feel like we don't have a whole lot of time to fuck around. How about you guys handle the shooting and I handle the disarming? Nope. It's <laughs> not what I wanted to do. Get out of combat! Okay, now you can get back into combat! Disarm! Do I have to get on this side? How many of these are left? Are there a lot more charges? What's happening? I see, I see, I see, I see. Wait, is it down below? One charge is remaining. Okay, this is the last one. <sighs> All charges disarmed. Let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? Oh! Husks? Hey, Ashley. Hey, Ashley, you wanna like help me out here? Wait, no, the other guy's dead? Wait, are they permanently dead? I just thought they were gonna be my, my squad buddies that I could just reload whenever I needed. I didn't know that they would actually die. Okay, so that's where the husk things were. Man, I didn't want him to die. I don't, I don't have time for this right now. Wait, he's alive. Can I give him a thingy? I just needed to wait until the conflict was over. Okay. That makes more sense. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Please don't get too close to that. Please don't get too close to that. Please don't get too close to that. Anything like that when they dug it up. Maybe that's why we shouldn't be near it. Caden. Roger, Normandy, standing by. 
No! I just got you back! Oh, fuck. Am I going in it? No, don't Oh, we're getting a data download. The the forcible way. That's why you don't go near the glowy things. Don't go near the glowy things. Also, the beacon's destroyed now, so that kind of defeats the purpose of the mission. And Nihilus is dead. Really, this wasn't a success. Um, just, uh, you know. Oops. We identified the ship that touched down the on matriarch. the matriarch. The Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. That's 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 an adult way to handle your emotions. This human must be eliminated. Sir, I think you have some anger issues. Also, she's kind of hot. Sorry. I mean, I'm probably going to regret saying that cuz she's probably going to try to kill me, but you know. Doctor, Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. I think. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Not great. How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Where's the beacon now? I don't care about being sentimental. It was your fault. Exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Beta waves? Normal beta waves. What does that mean? I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Not a dream of vision. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction. Is this is this what the assistant saw then? Which is why he was all hmm. cuckoo for cocoa I'm puffs. To my report. It may... Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it, Shepard. I need to speak with you, in private. I'm in trouble. Hey, I'll be in the mess if you need me. I'm Sounds in like trouble. Sounds like that pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. I don't know if I want to say that, but also like... Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. Okay, I don't... The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. I don't, I don't know if I need to be that pissy. Captain. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. No. A rogue. Is that what that means? Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. 
You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of magic? How about we Whatever. find those scientists? Because clearly that dude also had a look into it. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the... Oh, good old racism. He of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I don't need to be that pissy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Boop boop. I don't think I did too terrible. Six points? I mean, I use pistols so much, so. Well, I didn't do good. I did, I did what was asked, but I didn't do good. Hi, Kaden. How you Commander, doing? I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you too. Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. Doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. You helped! I couldn't have done it without you. We're Marines. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. I'll be nice. I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. They got through the shields. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're unrestricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. <laughs> May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? We'll talk another time. Make sure you're good to go for this meeting with the ambassador. I don't know if I want to share too much with you yet. Oh, the doc. Let's talk to the doc yes, first. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? Yeah. Uh, can I can I understand more about my my brainwaves? How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission, but he has an impressive service record. Mm. Over a dozen special commendations. Mm. Tends to keep to himself though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. L2? What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Complications? What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. I, I got How that. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. Ah. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic okay well, at least you got that turned humanity around humanity needs the alliance if we want to keep expanding through the traverse and the alliance always needs good doctors so i stayed on to do my part ever think you made the wrong choice sometimes i think about opening a private practice back on earth or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies but there's something special about working on soldiers if i left the alliance now i'd feel like i was abandoning them i should go Goodbye, Commander. Thanks, Doc. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The 
crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. I think you earned Sergeant it. Sergeant Williams, you belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Don't disappoint me. Jeez. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I'm gonna snoop. I'm gonna snoop. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. <laughs> Joker's very funny. I can see why he has his name. That thing's huge. Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. The well, Ascension. size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Granted, you may begin your approach, transferring you to an alliance operator. Thank you. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. Oh, we're so pretty. And they did a good job on this restore of the game. It's like freaking gorgeous. This is an outrage. The council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of the council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Oh, protocol, protocol, red tape, red tape. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Saren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. How? The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, neither... Because I was supposed to prevent Eden that. destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Yeah, thank you. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the specters. Good luck. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. Thanks. And that's why I hate politicians. Fair. Ooh, look at all these points. Okay, barrier sounds uh pretty cool. She used her assault rifles a lot, so I think we are all good. Gonna keep saving whenever I can. Cause shit goes crazy. Follow the pulsing arrow on your radar to the citadel. Alright, who can I talk to? Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. 
What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More Presidium. What a name. Citadel embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. Avina? What's that? Oh, Avina is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. Thanks. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. For guide. Ah. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel space station. Are you Cortana's cousin? What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. I want to know more about Citadel security. I do. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. Hmm. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Embassies. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics important enough. maintains an embassy on the Presidium. Sounds so weird. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted. We are awfully pushy. The council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of call. I had a feeling. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. How come the Volus were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in okay. Citadel space. All right. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. Okay. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Why weren't they made a council race? The council races have extensive responsibilities. I heard that they pause. They provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. They often provide economic aid in times of disaster. It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. That's pretty damn arrogant. I apologize if my personality has offended you. Please submit all formal complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Thank you for that um, very customer service-esque response. ...is derived from the branch of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Mm. Each Spectre agent is handpicked oh, by a council. Oh, mm. Their it. primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial <laughs> rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, 
Turians were invited to join the council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Uh-oh. Supporting it or calling it? <laughs> ...have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community while preserving individual autonomy for each species. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. There are. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple I'm still gonna push. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. This place is awfully peachy keen. A keeper. Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Bug Please thing? Do not disturb the keepers. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower, one of the Presidium's most recognizable and important structures. The keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. Tell me more about the Relay Monument. Discovered by the Asari who first arrived at the Citadel, the Relay Monument is one of the station's most interesting and controversial features. What is the meaning behind this striking piece of art? Is it a tribute to Prothean vanity? A reminder of their conquest of the galaxy through mass relay technology? Or perhaps it is a symbol of unity? A Prothean acknowledgement that the relays would eventually lead other species here to the Citadel. Hmm. No one can say for sure, making the relay monument a favorite topic of discussion among academics and scholars. Tell me about the Citadel Tower. Housing both the Council Chambers and Citadel Control, the tower is one of the most important buildings on the station. Makes sense. Access to these areas Ooh, that is thing's restricted huge. to those with the appropriate clearance. What happens in Citadel Control? Citadel Control handles all incoming and outbound transit. Makes sense. Every ship within 2,000 kilometers of the Citadel is under the jurisdiction of Citadel Control. At peak capacity, they are responsible for monitoring upwards of a thousand vessels. That's a lot of freaking people. I'd like to hear more about the council chambers. The business of the council, which often has far-reaching effects on the galactic community, is conducted in a room at the apex of the Citadel Tower. The council chambers themselves are truly a magnificent sight to behold, though few get to experience the view in person. Typically, only the counselors, ambassadors, and high-ranking officials, along with various support staff, are allowed access. What if someone has business with the council? The average citizen must go through the proper channels if they wish an audience with the council. This is usually arranged through their respective Which we did do. Ambassadors. Even then, few are given access to the actual council chambers. In most cases, the ambassador acts on behalf of the citizen. I'm scheduled to have an audience with the council. Only a handful of visitors to the Citadel are ever granted that privilege. I would be jealous, but that is outside the scope of my programming. Very funny. I'd like to know more about the Keepers. Yeah, considering you bring them up, and that's weird. ...peaceful servants of the Citadel, though they are essential to the operation and maintenance of the entire station. Citadel regulations protect the Keepers against interference during the performance of their tasks. Failure to comply will result in harsh penalties. Okay, well, clearly I'm going to have to be doing something in the future, so... ...but are typically found in and around the tower. Any particular reason there are so many keepers in this area? Hmm. The keepers do not communicate with other species. It is assumed, however, that the tower houses the Citadel's primary control systems. Many of the station systems, such as navigation and life support, function automatically. It is believed the Keepers operate those systems from inside the tower's inaccessible core. The Keepers also make frequent appearances in the Council Chamber itself, though they appear to be just passing through on their way to some other destination. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. It's kind of weird to say thank you for using Avena when your name is Avena. Going up a tower. Mm. <gasps> I asked. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. 
Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. You don't like Saren. What did you find? Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. Obviously. Spectre. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. Stick with me, bud, and you will. It's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. You don't want to keep the council waiting. Ugh! No, I want to talk to Garrus more! <sighs> what a cock block. I finally get to talk to the character that everybody talks about. And then they're just like, no, go see the stuffy politicians who are in charge of everything instead. Ooh, yes, let's talk to Captain Anderson first. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is not <sighs> compelling proof. But that means you still should I investigate them. Nihilus was a fellow specter and a friend. Why would the person we're accusing be here? Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. What type of conflict of interest bullshit is this? The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. Uh. But what can you expect from a human? I don't want to say you'll pay. I don't need to I don't need to throw I don't need to throw threats in front of the people I'm trying to trying to be uh nice to. Uh it seems like such a cop out to go so neutral, but like Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Oh shit. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Objection? Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, counselor, and mine. Saren's hiding behind his position as a specter. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. Okay. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? You shouldn't even be here. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? What's the point? Okay, that's not... That, that type of attitude is not helpful. You know what? I'm just going to keep being a Make dick. Make your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Because you all looked so hard. The to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. Can't wait till that blows up in your face. Let me guess, I'm going to have to protect them from an invading force that Saren's going to be in charge of? Bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a specter, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to exp Let's go talk to Garrus. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month. 
drinking on the job. Oops. I won't waste my time with that loser. Oops. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Seren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I don't like you talking about the captain that way, but it also makes diplomatic sense in order to say that. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I'd rather have him I agree to, to do that than to say, like, Captain, fuck you. My office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Okay, Maybe that's there's another the way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. I'm about to say, that doesn't sound ominous. Highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. What about you and Saren? I'm going to keep pushing. You and Saren have a history. What happened? Tell me. About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Okay. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. So would I? Why would I say that? Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Because we're expendable. And it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Too independent? What? Why do we bother? I don't like any of these questions. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. I thought this embassy was supposed to help humans. Harkin may be human, but he's also an ass. <laughs> he's had more than his share of chances. If the embassy wasn't protecting him, he would have been fired 15 years ago. CSEC is better off without him. Interesting. The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. Mm. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes. Sometimes. But it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. Okay. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Okay. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone. Not directly. He's just a resource we can use. Or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Love that inclusion there. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do anything illegal. He just knows all he the knows loopholes. All the loopholes. Mm -hmm. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. I want to know more about the specters. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. The invisible it's not hand. Easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each specter answers directly to the council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The council just turns a blind eye. 
Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done. Like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. But wasn't I, I was like, technically made? But with him gone, things are still up in the air. They sound like shadow operatives. They are. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under 100. But the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents. The last line of defense. The final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. Hmm. I should go. Seems a little cyclical, no? I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. Thanks, Cap. All right, before we keep on going, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut down this recording uh, of this particular session. But uh, thank you so much for joining me for my first ever experience within uh, Mass Effect. I'm enjoying it greatly so far. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this content. And I look forward to bringing you more. Okie dokie. All right, we're, we're going to keep on. I'm going to keep playing. Don't worry. But we're just gonna, you know what I'm saying. Okay, all right. I'll talk to you. See you. Be in your living room soon. Okay, bye.